Ooh, good Thursday morning, wild, wild world. I got to catch one from the sleep that I lost over the past two days from going to the concert and everything. Uh, so that was nice and certainly relaxing. But it is another day. Got one class and then we actually got something special planned for today as far as what we can do. Something cool to seek discomfort with one of my friends. Actually for a class project. That should be interesting. Maybe with what they were expecting to have an earthly king that would um, defeat the Roman, the Roman Empire. Um, but rather, here's the takeaway that I want to leave you with. Um, it's our proximity to the presence of Christ that becomes our provision for the challenges we face. If we stay close to Him, even if it's in a wilderness, even if it's through a mistake, um, even if we don't know how or the situation seems insurmountable, if we'll stay close to Christ, He will provide us with the strength to overcome those challenges um, despite our weakness. And it will be enough, and there will be 12 basketfuls left over, um, because Jesus is the bread of life. When I read this verse, I think of a uh, protector, Jesus being my protector and my security. We see Jesus says that I am the door of this sheep. Um, that makes me think of uh, my house. Uh, the door of my house is made of a large, thick, heavy wood that's made for safety and security. That door is made to protect my house from unwanted intruders and robbers. Jesus says this because he wants to convey to the Pharisees that he is the protector and defender of his sheep, which are other Christians, it's you and me. He is strong and unwavering like that door that only opens to let in sheep and let them protect them from the evils of the outside world. All he does is for the good of the sheep. His words increase my view of him as a protector, the defender and savior. Hello, my name's Barry the Banana, and I hope you're having a great Thursday. All right, Cameron, what are we trying to do? We're trying to have coffee with strangers. So this started, like what? This is a project for your class? What is the point? We're trying to analyze six ways to make people like you in interpersonal communication. Hmm. Hence this. So this is like an idea that I had a long time ago to try and do this. What do you think, Madison? Do you think we'll get a stranger to let us buy them coffee if they have a conversation with us? Oh yeah. I'm certain. Yeah, I know who would buy you coffee for a conversation. Dude, if I wasn't on the way to a meeting, I would definitely do that. I'm upset. Oh, I, dude, I really would. It's one I love for coffee and I also love conversation, but it's like... We almost got it on the first try. <laughs> I'm upset. I know her. That doesn't count. Doesn't count. Do 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 do. Do 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 We almost had it on the first try. Dude, I would have been so excited. All right. So now you just got to decide what you want for coffee. All right. Here, Here we go. Ready, ready, Zachary? Coffee acquired. Comfortable distance you want to have. I don't know. What? Do, do we both fit? Yeah. That works fine. Alright. Well, hello. Thank you for doing hello. this. Yeah, hi. Appreciate it. You're welcome. So, what's your name again? My name's Lincoln. Nice to meet you. I'm Cameron. Hi. That's very true. It was wonderful meeting you. Definitely. I'm glad you stopped me. Thank you for doing <laughs> even, if, you know, <laughs> even if it took like 10 minutes to yes. get and you don't really drink coffee. Hey, it was actually pretty good. It's pretty much sugar. <laughs> call, call me sugar. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And it was good. So Cameron, how did you think that went? Nerve wracking. <laughs> Nerve wracking. Were you nervous? A little. A little. Went, well, she was great. Well. She was super nice. nice. Nice talkative person. Um, I guess if you weren't really that talkative, you wouldn't have agreed to do that. But we got on like the first person we really asked. So what more can you ask for? What a wild, wild day it has been. So it was a real fun evening that evening. Um, we went and did an escape room with the Binary Club and I actually left from that to go and teach SI that night and then I scrambled back in time to get to the very end. They had two escape rooms down here in Henderson, uh, which were really cool. They're actually run by one of the, some of the people that work here at Freed, um, which was awesome to be able to support them. 
Uh, so I was like in one of the escape rooms for like the first 35, 40 minutes. <laughs> and then uh, I was in the second, I didn't get to do the second escape room. I got back like five minutes till the end. Uh, but it was fun. It was a busy night though and a crazy night. Only cool kids drink Capri Suns.